have to be patient, is that right? Yes, yes. It's still going to be a little while. Thank you once again, Professor Saransic, for helping us make sense of what's been happening. Thank you. Travelers from Japan have started arriving in Hawaii again after the U.S. state eased quarantine rules imposed for the coronavirus. The first flight touched down at Honolulu Airport on Friday, and about 60 passengers passed through immigration. Hawaii has reopened, and my aunt lives here, so I decided to come. I want to chat to her about all kinds of things and take time to just relax. Hawaii says people who pre-test negative for COVID-19 at approved institutions in Japan no longer need to isolate for 14 days. But the tourist industry isn't expecting a big, big boost from the move, at least for now. That's because visitors still face two weeks of quarantine when they get back to Japan. Uh, NHK has learned that uh, Japan and China have agreed to resume round-trip business travel between the two countries beginning in mid-November. The policy applies to both short and long-term trips. The Japanese government is in the process of gradually easing restrictions which it imposed to stop the spread of the coronavirus. It has already resumed business travel with Singapore, South Korea and Vietnam. The country has also lifted entry restrictions for all foreigners who are qualified for mid- and long-term stays. About 370,000 business travelers from China entered Japan in 2019, more than from any other country. The government is hoping the move will help revitalize the economy. And NHK has learned that uh, Japan's immigration authority will allow some foreigners who have refused deportation orders to remain outside of government facilities while their cases are being heard. The Immigration Services Agency is working on a draft revision of the laws on immigration and deportation. The agency is planning to allow some people who are facing deportation and who are not likely to flee to stay with family members or supporters until their cases are settled. The agency also plans to change how it handles refugee applications. Under the current law, applicants are allowed to remain in the country while their applications are processed. Repeated applications tend to result in longer periods of detention. The agency is planning to end the suspension of deportation in cases where a second application is rejected, even if a third is submitted. It plans to put in place a new process to order the deportation of detainees who exhibit disruptive behavior. There will be the possibility of prison if the order is refused. The agency plans to submit a revised bill 